I am Ju Jie Wang, starting my third year as an assistant professor in Colorado State University. I'm affiliated with Mechanical Engineering Department and the School of Biomedical Engineering. Here are some facts, not a stereotype, in the U.S. According to NSF, women receive 20% of bachelor's degrees, 24% of master's degrees, and 23% of doctor's degree in the engineering field. But my own field, mechanical engineering, is around 9% female. The same percentage holds true for the female faculty in my current department. As a female international student and then scholar in the STEM field, I feel I've always been encouraged to pursue my career. Both my PhD and postdoc mentors are female faculty, successful in the field and they're with a passion in research and teaching. I've benefited greatly from workshops or meetings to help women to succeed in academia. So I would like to continue to grow, to be a role model and pass on the legacies to the next generations of students in the STEM field. Stem cell therapy has been fascinating because it has the potential to renew the tissue or organ in a natural self-renewal way, but it has many problems to solve before the final application in clinical patients. The disease I'm studying is red ventricle failure. Unlike the left-sided heart, this chamber has been the forgotten chamber because people had thought this chamber is just a mirror of the left, but now we know this is not the case. The research of my lab aims to understand the unique mechanism of red ventricle failure and how we can utilize stem cell therapy to restore the failing right heart. Using a new cardiac patch to facilitate the cell delivery, we have obtained promising preliminary data showing functional and biological improvements of the right ventricle. The entire research will pave the way to the stem cell therapy specific for the right ventricle. Our proposed mechanism will lead to a new direction of the therapy and potentially even a cell-free therapy, which eliminates the concerns of directly injecting stem cells into the body. The project is highly interdisciplinary, involving expertise in biomechanical engineering, tissue engineering, cardiac physiology, and stem cell biology. Therefore, the impact of the research is not limited to the engineering field, but extends to other fields like science and technology.